Guys, welcome back. I just got the next vacuum set up. I'm going to try out the lift off multi cyclonic vacuum from Bissell. Um, here's the same dirt that we got from the Healthy Home. Now, as I said, the Healthy Home had an airtight or has an airtight sealed HEPA system. And it claimed, and it claimed from my interpreting, it says 99.99%. Which is HEPA standard, since the minimum standard for HEPA is 99.97%. If it's anything less, it's not HEPA. Now, there's, well, there's a brand new model, as you'll see here. Oh, that's the PET model. Oh, oh this is, okay, this is PET model also. Okay, okay, fuck it, they're both PET models. Sorry, that's all PET. I guess the only difference is you got that little gimmicky brush here, well, has rubber blades on it, I'm not sure how the hell that's going to even remove any regular dirt, but anyway, I thought I'd try this out, and see how well it does in here, and to see how well it takes up dirt, see if it's able to hold it all, and all that, um, would I actually recommend this vacuum to somebody who has allergies or asthma? No. Why do I say no? Well, let me explain. You see on this little sticker here, it says HEPA Media Filter. I know, I, I'm not sure if I covered this in earlier videos, but <clears throat> if not, I figure I'll cover it now. I just want to make sure it's empty. Um, yeah. The missile usually claims that the vacuum have HEPA Media Filters. Big culprit. Um, the problem is, let me see if this one has that button. Yes. Okay. As I said, the standard for HEPA filtration is 99.97%. Bissell, most of your Bissell vacuums claim to have a million filter. It says here, quote, the filter captures. 99.9% .9 of pollen and ragweed from the air passing through it. It's not HEPA. Look at that number again. 99.9%. The minimum standard that has to be HEPA, it has to capture at least 99.97%. It cannot capture let me see if I can find it here. No, I guess not. Anyway. Standard has to be 99.97%. Cannot capture anything less. You can see right here. This is, they call it an S filter HEPA. Filters out 99.97% dust and other airborne irritants smaller than 0 0.3 microns. So this one, so the HEPA filter in here is actually HEPA. They're not shitting you. This was bullshitting you by saying we have HEPA. Now, this is as good as it's gonna get. Well, okay. Let me get you a better comparison. I know, I know, I'm, I know, I'm yakking my mouth off, talking trash on Bissell, but I thought I'd point this out because I know this vacuum was featured. In a shark rotator lift away infomercials. Um, you know, if you see them. This is the kind of filter that this will use. This is not really good, a real good head filter. In fact, this is pretty pathetic. How? Well, Think about like this. I mean, there's no seal around here. There's no seal. There's not even a, the filter is not very well pleated. It feels very cheap. This filter isn't going to clean much. It's actually, most of the time, the dust is going to remove a lot of dust. It's going to uh, spew a lot of dust in the air. Now, let's compare it to this Dyson, which is certified asthma and allergy red light. Here, here it looks better. 
Now I'm going to compare it to say an actual hap that's actually HEPA, like this Dyson here. Evernose is more tightly together. There's a seal around here. And plus this filter is washable. But this filter is certified HEPA. This vacuum is certified as Menology Friendly, and I will show you that and I'll demonstrate that one later. This one isn't. This one isn't. The Abyssal Healthy Home. I haven't seen actually really any any certification on it to indicate as Menology Friendly, but that they're tight HEPA. I don't know. So, let me put this back together. Hello. Uh oh, that'll work. Huh? That'll work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let me see how to turn this on. Okay, I got it. Well, it's done. There's a button right there. Alright, here we go. The actual test, I'm going to show you how it works. Let me fix that a second. I actually think that's actually not. Much better. Alright. We got it. Turn on. That's better. Let me just check this. Hi. No coffee. Here. Okay, now we got it fixed, we got it ready. Let's try this. Oh, don't worry, it's not getting damaged. Well, let's see here. Let me see if I can get this with the hose. Let me see if I can even get the goddamn hose off this fucking thing. Oh. Let me see. Man, you can't get the hose off, can you? No. I can't. That's why I don't have this. That's what I got. That. Oh, Sorry about the delay. I'm trying to figure out how to take this that little asshole off. Ah, fuck it. Anyway. Ah, fuck it. Hmm. I can't get the hood off. Now, can you seem to take this little hose off very easily? And you can tell. I'm struggling to get it off. Nearly, you know, in the process. Just, just trying to take this off. Is already enough of a hassle. Well, that pretty much reinforces my assumption that pencils are junk. You can see it right here. One, 
I don't think we even picked up much. I'm not sure. Maybe it closed up. I'm not even sure. But obviously. It didn't do very well. It hasn't done very well. It looks like it's one of those vacuums that's uh, pathetic. I might have to look through the whole seat back. See if it's just a blockage. But yeah. Bissell, what is it called? The Lipsol Multitude Client Pet. No, this one failed. Hello. Alright. This one failed. I'm going to try the suction seal, which is basically the, uh, Eureka's answer to the DC41. So I'm going to try that out. I might try out the navigator, left the way. And I'm going to try out DC-41 and DC-33. DC-40 is pretty much similar. Alright, so, be back next video. Stand by.